come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? (laughs) Thank you for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, an amazing movie review podcast that comes at you every Saturday night on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, TuneIn, and more. All you have to do and please, we hope that you will give us a like, star, thumbs up, or a review on any one of those services, because all of that helps us get found by other people who might be interested in this kind of stuff like you are, friend. You, like, friend. That's right. Bring other people on board. Hey, Spread the word of the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. There'll be something extra for you in your paycheck this week. All right. Say what now? <laughs> So, who are these internet radio superstars who will be talking in your ear tonight? John. Nick. Holly. And I'm Colin. Welcome, Nick. Hey, it's been a while, but I am back. So... And you're doing a voice. Now I'm doing a voice. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing a voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe it's inspired by tonight's movie, which was chosen by... Holly. Me. I'm just going to take Nick's mic out. <laughs> Holly. <laughs> What did we watch tonight? We watched Showdown in Little Tokyo. Good. God in heaven, that sounds like a fantastic movie title. Doesn't it? Showdown in Little Tokyo. That's right. So the question for you is, what year was this masterpiece created? The year of our Lord, 1991. And who made it? Or Mark, directed it? Mark Lester. Who do we know Mark Lester from? He's most known for Commando. Or Firestarter, or maybe Class of 1999. Oh, shit. Yeah. sure you don't know him from, oh, what was the one I found earlier? He didn't do 84? Did he do 84? He did. He did that one, too. And 1999? Yeah. Uh, Poseidon Rex. (laughs) Poseidon (laughs) Rex. Uh, He did a few sci-fi features. Nice. (laughs) Sci-fi channel features, I should Mm, say. Yeah. So Commando is negligibly his best movie. Oh, sorry. We haven't uh, talked about this one yet, but... uh, (laughs) Prior to Showdown in Little Tokyo, <laughs> Commando epicness. was his best uh, best film. Pretty sure Commando's coming. Yeah. Oh, God. Firestarter was a fucking train wreck. Yeah. I just watched that again uh, this past year. Yeah, not year. good. I've always... No. I, I remember watching it's, bits and pieces of that on when it was It's been, been a hot minute since I saw it, but it was not good yeah. from what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it was him and his dubious uh, movie credits. Okay, so... <laughs> Roller Boogie, I think we need <laughs> Roller Boogie? Boogie? What? Yeah, I was looking at his films, and a lot of them, I was like, ooh, we might have to look into some of these. Yeah. Wait, is that the one with the, the nuns on roller skates? No, oh, no that was... That's um, the one that Tom wants to see. Switchblade Switch, 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 no, nuns or... S- sisters, something sisters. sisters. Switchblade sisters? Switchblade Switch Switch sisters. No, it's not Switchblade no? sisters. I know that one. Oh. It was like ro- roller nuns. I don't know. Is that the one that Tommy always wanted us to see? Yeah, yeah. yeah. he showed all of us the trailer like a million times. Yeah. One of these days, we need to watch it just for him. If we can remember what the title was. <laughs> um, so who's in this movie, the showdown in Little Tokyo? Starring the incomparable Dolph Lundgren, uh, the, I guess, comparable Brandon Lee, and the very lovely Tia Carrera. Oh, yeah. And Carrie. Uh, hold Tanak- on. Carrie. Nope. Hit, no, I'm not going to do it. Hero, yeah. It's, you, should, you shouldn't do it either. <laughs> what was he? Uh, he Kiri was Hiro Yuku. No, Hiro Yuki Tagawa. Yeah, okay, Tagawa. That's okay, it. Yeah. This guy is, uh, he was in like a lot of stuff. Uh, Japanese American actor yes. was in Mortal Rising Kombat. Sun, Mortal, mm-hmm. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mortal Kombat. Your soul yeah. is mine. Was it mm-hmm. Shao Kahn, right? He it was. was Shao Kahn. Yeah. Um, so I'm glad you said that because I was pretty sure I was going to drunkenly say Shere Khan. That's what Shere Khan. I, was, yeah. <laughs> I, had to, I had to stop myself and go, which one's the tiger? Yeah. That's Shere Khan. Okay, so it's Shao Khan. Yeah. Shao Khan. No, we Shao were Khan, talking Khan. about uh, while we were watching the movie. This is you said this is Brandon Lee's uh, first American feature. Yeah. How did it not end up being his last? Yeah. Is what yeah. I wonder. Yeah. You know, I think maybe um, his dad might have something. Yeah, to do legacy with it. will get you a long way in Hollywood. <laughs> legacy I guess. gets you a long way in the world. Let's just so. say that. Yeah, because that was a. Uh... That was brutal. He's a subtle <laughs> actor. Yeah, that was brutal. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I, I can't help it. it was, that was bad, man. That was horrible. Oh, wow. You are talking about his acting. Oh, yeah. yeah. His, his acting was pretty bad. He had yeah. some good kicks, though. Well, that's well, the yeah. whole thing, right? If you're the son of the legendary B- Bruce Lee, that's you're right. going to be able to do some crazy martial arts. That's mm-hmm. you know. When was Laser Mission? 
uh, what is this movie you keep uh, because i yeah. see a video cover in my mind of him standing back to back with an attractive woman you know james bond style and it talks holding a gun and it seems to me uh, it's called laser mission yeah what you're yeah that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why has oh, that it's got borgnine in it uh, sweet there you nice go. <laughs> that's a deep cut i've never it's got, look at borgnine <laughs> he's in the diamond on this cover this yeah. is wonderful yeah oh nice. <laughs> laser mission laser what year mission. is that oh jesus uh See, I'm wondering so, if Showdown in Little Tokyo was maybe his first, like, studio movie. Oh, yeah, it was 89, so yeah. it must have been his first studio movie. You're right. Okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> so he graduated. Before that, he, before that, he did some foreign movies. Okay. With All his right. dad. So that's with his dad? He did one with his dad. Get out. Mm-hmm. Game of Death or something? Was he actually in those? I think movies? so. No, really. Wouldn't he, wouldn't he be, like, a tiny little tyke? Oh, he's in some home oh. movies. He's yeah, in some Captain Bruce Lee uh, Bruce Lee home movies, I know. Maybe they're counting that because those have surfaced on like if you get Enter the Dragon. I don't know. He's only been in like ten things. I was surprised it's that many. I thought I remember a show. Well, Laser Mission, you're right. Uh, Showdown in Little Tokyo. Then it seems to me he's in Rapid Fire. Was the one they did after that, which was uh, another studio Mm -hmm. movie. And then The Crow. The Crow. And The Crow is now like when you look at it, seeing. I think I saw Rapid Fire. I didn't see it. I've never seen seen it. I mean, it's a generic, you know, action movie. Honestly, the only two out. I'd seen is Showdown and The Crow. That's the only Brandon mm-hmm. Lee movies I've ever seen. Well, The Crow, like, I mean, it's kind of tragic, you know, now, you know, knowing that that was his final film because what that could have done for his career. No, yeah, definitely. To break him away from, yeah. I'm a martial arts guy living in the shadow of my father to, you know, doing something. I mean, because there's like no martial arts in The Crow, Mm-mm. really. Sean? After seeing this movie. <laughs> Colin, can I borrow the crow from you? Because <laughs> you need I need to see palette? how. It's, no, I need to see how. Yeah. You've never seen how, the crow. I've never seen the crow. What? Whoa! I don't think I've seen the crow. Whoa! I, I, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it in a while. But Sean's like, I've seen crow like four and five, but I haven't seen <laughs> it. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, emo and Moby. I didn't. It, but, well, yes, Sean. I am yeah, going to. I'm going to pack that up with you on your way home. All right, because I <laughs> got to see, see how it transfers over. I mean, at the t- at the this. time, it wasn't emo and mopey. It was like, whoa, what is this? This yeah. is something we haven't seen. You know, it was. I I almost can't wait. Now. Yeah, but it it. I mean, he's still. I never thought, even in that, that he would. Because I think maybe that that might have been the first thing I saw him in, and then I went back and saw mm-hmm. Rapid Fire. But even in that, I mean, like you know. You can tell this guy's not like the world's greatest thespian, you know. I mean, like the crow, he has limits, you know, even within that. But he's a great. He has a short range, look, but the range for, is a little longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or <laughs> seeing those limits. Yeah, or maybe he's just not, not asked to do, you know, anything as goofy no. as. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Like brooding doesn't take much range. Right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, once, but once sad, you got the sadness, it, like once you have to get into the depth of uh, anguish. Yeah, but when you're wearing makeup, you know. That's true. And he's a very, <laughs> he's a physically competent, you know, m- more than competent uh, performer. You know, I mean, yeah. that's the thing. He can mm-hmm. hold himself well and he can deliver kicks and, you know, be He just can't deliver a line. Well, yeah. Well, not in this movie, at least. He wears what I, I feel like this guy could deliver a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Based on this movie. <laughs> Jesus. Aren't yeah. you supposed to baste us first? <laughs> All delivered ah. with this shit eating. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he's just happy to be there. He's happy. I mean, we're dogging on him, but the man is <laughs> yeah. happy to be he's in happy. a Hollywood You're movie. Dolph Lundgren. He's having a good time, you know. <laughs> and okay, now seriously though, how much of it is the shitty writing, and how much is him? Because he is working with very small pieces of shit here. <laughs> like, this is true. You know, how much can you do with this character? It's set up for him to be horrible. Well, and also, you know, partway through the movie, you actually forget that he's in the movie. You <laughs> do. I'm just like, oh, yeah. You yeah, do. All, I think we all ju- had that it, we did. sensation at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. So it is a Dolph I've Lundgren I've seen this movie. and I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it's a Dolph Lundgren vehicle. And this is before is. Dolph Lundgren had graduated to big time movies like Universal Soldier. But, you know, he was coming off of like the canon films. Uh, yeah, Masters Universe. Right. Ugh. What year was Rocky? Rocky IV. Oh, yeah. That was his first movie. And that was. No, View to Kill, right? No. It, 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 
dude. Rocky Four, was, Rocky his first Four movie. was 85. View to a Kill, he's like uh, one of uh, Christopher Walken's henchmen. I want to say that was maybe his first. Like, it's not like a big. Is it credited? Maybe. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah. You may have me there. I think that's also sure. 85. Tall, though. muscular henchman, Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So his breakout role was Ivan Drago in Rocky mm-hmm. Four, yeah. And then uh, at some point, you. two years later, he was. Uh, I will break you. Be broke. <laughs> <laughs> then he was broke. He-Man in, uh, in Masters uh, of the Universe. Go back brutal. and listen to our Masters of the Universe episode. We covered that. Brutal. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't get through that movie either. I fucking love that movie. <laughs> oh, a lot of people do. I was I a lot of people love, love that movie. movie. I, I was a huge He-Man fan, and that movie just left a bad taste in my mouth. Because it has nothing it. to do with He-Man. It has He-Man. nothing to do with E-Man. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Somewhere Red Scorpion was in there. I can't remember if that was in between those two movies. And uh, well, yeah, he's I in mean, he's in the great I come in peace. But was that is. after this, where he finally gets to flex his acting muscles and become the thespian that we've always wanted him to be? That might have been after this. <laughs> have you seen Kindergarten Cop Two? <laughs> no. Sean has because it's a sequel. <laughs> He hasn't seen Kindergarten Cop, but he's seen Kindergarten oh, Cop. Seen kindergarten <laughs> cop. <laughs> Take the toy back to the carpet. <laughs> Take it back to the carpet. <laughs> Who is your daddy and what does he do? It's not Who's the your daddy. <laughs> what does he do? Oh, brilliant. Okay, so what's this movie about, Holly? What 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 did you get us in for tonight? Well, it's a buddy cop movie, if you will. Dolph Lundgren plays a LA cop who's an Asian man trapped in Dolph Lundgren's body. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Wait, what's his name? His character's name? S. Are we going with <laughs> Champ Kenner? I love this movie. Champ Kenner. Champ, Champ Kenner. Why? With, well, he's, Kenner. he's billed as Kenner, and everybody refers to him as Kenner, Sergeant except Kenner. for, right? But is his first name Champ? Because I don't think it is. <laughs> Brandon Lee just Brandon going around really calling him Champ. Champ. so much. <laughs> he's like, Champ. <laughs> champ, I'm we gotta go over here. A little Whoa, like, champ. A knuckle on the chin, and be like, "You got get this, him, champ. Is that what's champ. going on? I feel like it is. <laughs> Brandon Lee is so in love with Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> Brandon Lee is all of us watching Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> He's just yeah, so overly affectionate. Champ, just call him Champ. I his think at a certain be, point he gets name way is, overly his affectionate. Name is Chris. What are it's you Chris? looking at to get what? this IMDb. information? Sergeant Chris Kenner. Oh, yeah, it's Chris uh, Kenner. It's not Champ. I think we should That's just go with Champ. I like right? Champ. This is disappointing. Like Champ. Right? I think uh, Champ Kenner is right up Although there with, like, Mason it, Storm. It, you know, it's one I of want an action figure, the, the it Champ makes, Kenner, Kenner, Kenner action figure. Although it makes if that's not endearing. taken, from, from that means Kenner. it's out there. I want Kenner to make the Kenner doll. Although it makes it more endearing that that's what Brandon Lee's character decided to call him. Like, I wonder if he rehearsed in the mirror. That's what Brandon Lee decided to call him. That's true. That's where that came from. You think he rehearsed pet names before he tried that one out? Yeah. And he was doing the mirror too, like, Champ? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. He's like, uh, Chief? No, that doesn't cut it. No, uh, <laughs> fuck. Um, big guy? No, that's too much. It's too guy, much. Big guy, huh? It's too he, much. He had settled on big guy for yeah. a while. I was like, it's like, oh, no. And then, and then the, he got up to doing it, and he's just like, mm-hmm. uh, Champ? <laughs> oh, Champ. He's okay with it. He's and okay there, with there it. There it was. <laughs> he tried a few out on set. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba, Bubba, one of them. No, Bub, Bub, Bub. Hey, big, Bub. Yeah, I like, I like big guy. I like yeah. big guy. Sport <laughs> champ. So Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, he is champ Kenner. <laughs> he was uh, born in Japan, and, it, and he never left really in his heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. He's this big yeah. Swede playing an American who is obsessed uh, with Japan. Is obsessed with Japan. <laughs> Naturally. You gotta love the fucking 80s. I know it's a 90s movie, but it feels yeah, like it's the 80s. Yeah. The 80s. Yeah, this, is, yeah. this is the, yeah, they, the, the verge. Yeah, they wrote this in the, in the 80s. 80s. He, and this was the they had to over. Have. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so he's a, a former, uh, well, he's a cop now. He's cop. son of murdered uh, parents who yes. were stationed on an army base. Yes, and they were Okinawa. murdered in front of him. In the mo- in the way that you do, I guess, if you're in uh, Japan, it's By the one samurai. Honor, yeah. Yeah. Him up with right. a samurai sword. Even Rhyme samurai. me of the Ninja Naturally. Turtles. Mm, <laughs> I think this happened in Enter the Ninja. Also, no, I don't know. It's, I mean, what, no, it was something we watched with Van Damme, wasn't it? Oh, was was it blood sport? Was it blood sport? Is it that how it's it feels like? It was blood sport. It is. Bro- it is. Was How'd it blood they die? Sport? 
No, I feel it like was, it was. Maybe it was the guy like who had who had fostered him. <laughs> that the Japanese guys come. No, in. he was dying. I want to fucking Remember? kill you. <laughs> That's accompanied by a look that uh, you're missing here no, on the radio. In yeah. Bloodsport, his Bolo uh, Young's his, reaction. Oh, well, what? His, me? Uh, his foster dad or whoever it was was yeah. like dying. Yeah. yeah. He didn't. He wasn't killed. He was dying. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting this all wrong. We'll have to go back and I listen mean, to our own Bloodsport so episode yeah. <laughs> to uh, refresh our memories. These martial arts movies run together. But Ooh. something specific happens in this uh, this flashback murder scene where both parents are killed while they're sleeping by yeah. the, uh, the the evil Carrie yep. Tagawa. Yep. I'm just going to skip Yeah, the, just skip the hyphen, the hyphen in the yeah. middle there. Yeah. Uh, but Shokan. What's Shokan. What, yep. what happens? Uh, which part? He turns around and he's got a tattoo of an iron claw, so he knows who he is. Yep, and Dolph Lundgren. Oh, Dolph Lundgren attacks him as a little boy. Little Gets boy. his sword somehow because you have the. If you live in a, you have yeah. these just on the mantle. Yeah. But he took, said he took his sword. He yeah. killed him with his father's sword. The the sword that. Shokan was using. <laughs> He's just Shokan now. Yeah, sure. He said, he t- I took his, I, I wounded him in the face with his own sword, is what he said in the movie. Yeah, so he took a sword. Uh, so this little child uh, took this and ninja I have, master. And I have a thought on that, because yeah. later on when he's talking to Brandon Lee and he's like criticizing him in like a joking like buddy way, yeah. and he's like, when did you start training? He's like, when I was four. He's like, you should have started earlier. I think Dolph Lundgren started when he was like two. And that's uh-huh, how he probably. had that skill already. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> When in Japan do as the Japanese do is the old saying. I would, you know. Yeah. yeah. Why not? So, <laughs> <laughs> what's the age difference between Dolph Lundgren and, and Sh- Shokan? 20 I mean, it's years. It's got to be 20, yeah. Because that's why I was sitting there going, like, these guys are about the same age, but one of them is supposed to have been, yeah. you know. Yeah, okay. Whatever. He's whatever. aged very well besides the scar. And one of them's just yeah. made but of But he abs. sliced him in the face. Or he just, well, actually, he just looked old when he was 20. Maybe. So he's got a uh, scar now, very telling, that, which sometimes in some scenes appears as like... Crispy. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's like the appliance crispy. that Donald Pleasance wears in in <laughs> fucking Halloween Five. I, I, th- I thought he was burned. I thought scene. that was the deal. That's yeah. why I didn't understand what's happening. It looked happening. like a burn at first. Yeah, that's why I said it looked crispy. It looked like yeah. rough and yeah. not like a not makeup slice. very well. Yeah, because like we see him in the present day with the uh, the burn makeup, right? And then we see the flashback that he gets wounded in the face with a sword. And then subsequently, it becomes a uh, slice on his right. face. I was like, what the f- Did he get burned? Or- <laughs> sort of really hot? It's got all the souls in it? <laughs> That's a different movie. Exactly. <laughs> I go with that. There's nothing so- in this movie that says the souls aren't in the sword. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. You can't it's prove a negative. Souls, yeah. That's right. Could be. So Shere Khan has... <laughs> Shere Khan- <laughs> he did it. Shere Khan has come to the United States... To take the American dream, I guess, or you know, live the American dream to, to, take, to run these people, yeah, to to run a gang, just take steal. over. Yeah, he's bringing the yakuza. Right? That's right. We all know what the yakuza is. It's yakuza. Yakuza. yakuza, yakuza, the yakuza. Yeah, there yeah. You go. brought them over. Point Break from the homeland. <laughs> I think the guy who shot Point Break shot this movie. I think. <laughs> you think? I'm not sure. Was it Point Break or Point Break? I think we. Yes. Would we say it was Point, Point Break? break. Point, point Break. Point Break. Yeah. <laughs> Not point break. Yeah. I may be wrong. I'm going to take that back right now because I know it's wrong. Okay, but anyway. Right. <laughs> you don't know. You're just I do. Because uh, I saw Mark Irwin in the credits. I think it was the cinematographer on this, but I think Peter Lyons Collister was the cinematographer on Point Break. Can't uh, verify or deny. Yeah, I don't I know either. Vision. That's I right. No I don't idea. know why I have up. that. No clue. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so into this Yakuza battlefield where... They're fighting in these underground clubs and stuff right. like that in Little Tokyo. Little Tokyo, L.A. Uh, hey, this is illegal. This pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Into this maelstrom comes super cop champ Kenner. He literally swings in. Literally from the ceiling. This Amazing. is the way that you make an entrance. We're talking right. about this is a uh, illegal cop. underground <laughs> boxing ring match happening. There's like tons of people around. From yep. all the different factions, I assume, all putting money down there. Lethal Weapon 4. Okay, got it. Nothing that was for me. The one guy that's from the beginning is in Lethal Weapon 4. I was trying to figure out where the fuck I saw him from. That's it. It's funny you say that, because the guy who wrote Lethal Weapon 4 wrote the final draft of this movie. What? What? <laughs> what? what? Why was I getting a Lethal Weapon 4 vibe from this movie? 
<laughs> oh my god! I hope I hope he got that job because of this movie. Yeah. Probably. Really? I mean, why not? Because mm-hmm. Joel Silver, the Lethal Weapon producer, was probably up all night watching oh, yeah. really bad movies. We know this because he kept recruiting <laughs> the talent from the lower rungs and yes. promoting them. And he was with Univ- or Warner Brothers Pictures at the time. Um, there you go. Oh, it's all coming together, folks. So, we're, we're solving shit connected. here. It's so connected. incestuous in Hollywood. Yep. All connected. All right. So tell me about this super cop who swings He's the cop in. That can't be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Meet the cop. Can't they can't be stopped. Be stopped. <laughs> this guy is some kind of something because, I mean, we already know that, that should have been the song. Some kind of something. We should have had some kind of Tia song. Tia Carrera should have been good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Well, he, I mean, Dolph Lundgren's a physical specimen, right? With all the uh, bulging biceps and whatever the heavy yeah. lifting. And according he to Brandon Lee, other large, impressive bulges. <laughs> oh In God. one of the movie's weirdest <laughs> exchanges. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's something it's that you not exchange to he another. Like, he like weird. smacked him with a compliment. He's yeah. Like, yeah. He's like, hey, yo, <laughs> your dick is Just, huge. <laughs> You've got the biggest dick that I've ever seen on another man. That's right. In this movie, this is what we hear. This is fantastic. During, you know, a, during a siege of his house, he's worrying about yeah. his dick size. Maybe this was, well, I think this was also, uh, Dolph Lundgren had given up his weapons at that point in time, right? He handed all of his weapons over to Brandon Lee. And I think he's just wearing his boxer shorts. Yeah. So perhaps this was Brandon Lee's way of trying to... Saying your dicks to, out? You know. <laughs> well, because the... Hey, Maybe he's trying to like, this kill is encouraging, guys. right? Yeah. Yeah. The dialogue... <laughs> if you die right now, know that you not have the biggest dick. Literally. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. No, because, no, because the line right before that, he's saying... Um, he was alluding like, yeah, we just slept together or whatever. And he's like, oh, I'm not surprised. And he goes... She was really scared, and he goes, "Well, I saw you undressing earlier, so I'm not surprised." <laughs> that's right, that's uh-huh. it. Yeah. And then it leads into the just more complimenting of the the schlong. Yeah, wow. It's this all followed like a really uh, the most one of the most awkward, weird sex scenes. Well, there's several of at least two of them between Dolph Lundgren and Tia Carrere. She he goes so out to the uh, the hot tub, right. Yeah, so this is, we're jumping around He's in steaming. the plot of this. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> He's steaming for well, so did they? Because <laughs> that's what you do. You invite, you know. Well, this is, you know, they're on the run from the bad guys at this point in time, yeah. and and uh, she's in his house. He's she's giving her saved, room. Yes. So he's going to go out back and soak in the hot tub. Right. She's going to come out, jump in there with him because, I mean, that just seems like that's the neighborly thing that you do if right. somebody saves your life. Well, no, her body gonna, double is going to come out there and jump. Yeah. In yeah. Exactly. The, with the, one of the weirdest wigs <laughs> yeah, that I've ever seen. Yeah, and she's one of the like worst making wigs ever. <laughs> a, a concerted effort not to turn her face toward the, uh, the yeah. camera she, as to reveal she she's got these not huge fake her. boobs. Yeah, I'm if, like, if, what? So Tia were... Carrera's sitting there going, like, I approve. <laughs> I approve. This makes me look good, right? <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with Tia Carrera. <laughs> if you were disappointed by the body double, she did later post for Playboy. You she can did. you can Google those photos. It's very true. I have Googled those photos, and she is spectacular. Uh, I'll, nice. just, I'll just ask my dad where he keeps his copy. Does he still have, does he still have it? Oh yeah, the showdown, sure little Tokyo box. episode or issue. Uh, no, this wow, is, this was oh, in the nineties. Sure this yeah. was yeah, or like I mean this later was, in the nineties. This might have been early two thousand. Yeah, this might have been yeah after she was, her movie career was. Because the photos, gone. the photos looked. Oh, Tia not- Carrere. I thought you were talking about the body double. I'm sorry, I'm like two drinks in and already lost my double. The so pic- she finally got the uh, confidence the, in herself. The to- pictures looked pretty, like, not 90s, so I think you might be right. Yeah. They might have been early 2000s. I think it was early 2000s. Uh, yeah. After the career had yes, gone yes, yes. teats up, as they say. Whatever. She did voiceovers on Lilo and Stitch. Hey, man. I remember watching Relic Hunter. Yep. Only you watched that. That's right. <laughs> That's true lies. right. Yeah. Some true Lies. True Lies, yeah. Um, and every other uh, low-budget, what-have-you movie that was ever on Cinemax. Not Skinamax, Cinemax. Mm-hmm. And they showed just shit mm-hmm. movies. Mm-hmm. Well, in this scene that we're talking right. about, yes, after yes. they've had a nice little soak in the tub. Yeah, good soak. Yeah. And then you assume the next thing's going to be like, well, then we move into the uh, the red hot sex scene. Yeah, they, they give each other that like that look. You know, they're not talking. They're just staring at each other, you think. But no, they just go no. in and go to bed. Yeah, in separate rooms. Separate rooms. But then she's like, clearly this guy's not getting the hint. So she comes in. I'm scared. Can I sleep next to you? I'll stay on my side. Mm -hmm. That doesn't last very long. Pretty soon she's got her hands down his pants. That's right. And then... She grabbed his hand. Yeah, his hand. Yeah? I thought there was uh, something that was going below the belt. She grabbed his hand, but I mean, she probably moved it down. There you go. (laughs) 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right his own right now. <laughs> the just based movie. on what Brandon Lee said, he may have lassoed her in with that thing. Come <laughs> 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 here. <laughs> Dude, you don't doubt it. Weird if it just started showing up like at the corner of the screen in odd places. <laughs> it's so big, it's just invading the frame. I'm telling you, we have to watch a movie called Welcome Home, Brother Charles. I think we I've mentioned really this should. before. <laughs> we really should. The movie about the guy with the killer dick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I saw that. We need to yeah. watch that. It strangles people. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Strangles watch people. That. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. It's like a 70s black exploitation yeah. movie or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a black exploitation movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He like comes uh, home. Okay. Somebody they they abused him. They robbed it's him of his manhood. <laughs> okay, okay. And he I wasn't back. gonna go no, there. Unless, unless he's a large dick. Swedish unless man. Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> yeah, Dolph Lundgren can fucking he like you're shooting a Dolph Lundgren out in the street. He needs some cover. He just turns a car over, and that's his cover. Flipped man's a amazing. Over. Flipped a car over. Could just hit behind his dick. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You want to well, go? Then, like, you, then you get your dick shot. You no one wants that. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> I don't want that. No. I we seriously thought what, he was going to go out there naked and fight the yakuza out there in his it place. Was, I mean, maybe a better movie. I don't know. Just uh, to say, you did. Does that ever happen? Like a big action scene, and your main stars is out there naked. Deadpool. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, yeah, but right. uh, uh, what was that Vigo Mortensen movie? Oh with the yeah, yeah. Fight and, uh, oh, was it the Russian one? Yeah. yeah. Eastern Promises. Eastern yeah. Promises. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. That's, that's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Happened in uh, Venture Brothers with uh, <laughs> with Brock Sampson. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so we got it. We got a couple. All right, we've covered. Yeah. Uh, right. And then the awkward <laughs> moaning sex scene that follows. Okay, so. Moaning. But, There's no moaning. <laughs> well, <laughs> silence. Yeah, she's yeah, got her awkward. mouth open in a very strange. Uh, she's in a, he's, and he's just kind of like. He's yep. in mm-hmm. agony. He's like, oh, uh, yeah. Through all this I stuff. just, all I want to do is get some sleep. Oh, man. <laughs> he really does. He just wants to. Say, <laughs> <laughs> it's the most a unenthusiastic. That just wants to sleep. That's right. partner that just wants <laughs> to fight. You think Showdown if you were in Tokyo. bed with Tia Carrere, you'd be a little more excited. But, right. You know, He's got some things on his mind. I, I think that's what it is. <laughs> I think so. He knows that Brandon Lee is in the other room. No, it's vengeance, Colin. Okay. Brandon that's Lee right. might it's be vengeance. actually peeking through a doorway during that, <laughs> considering his love. Brandon Lee is crying because it's not him. <laughs> I think Brandon Lee's okay with it. He's just happy Champ is doing good. Yeah. He's happy for him. He's his friend. He's his best friend, apparently. No, he's ha- he's unhappy that he's not Tia Carrera. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. That yeah. makes more sense. Sorry. Misunderstood. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Well, that we've, we've neglected to... Oh, we have mentioned, but... Oh, yeah. Brandon Lee's Brandon Lee is Should we start over? Should we go back? <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning. Okay, so... so if- We once again forgot Brandon Lee is in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Twice in one day. He sure is. He's a Japanese-American. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Even though he's Chinese American, but whatever. We got a Swede playing. Again, it, yeah. this is what when the, when this is what they did. This is what we do. It's true. Just cast and like, oh, you're you're Asian. Is he Asian? Yeah. yeah it's in. a movie yeah. about Japanese people. Just you're Asian. You can play Japanese. That's what the American audience won't know. No. Um Yeah, so they're both cops. Yeah. Uh Brandon uh, Brandon Lee is like a new to the department. I assume it's the same department. Even though they apparently haven't met each other, that was no, it. they do. That's it's in the the little um, the little restaurant shootout. He's restaurant like shootout. He's like say it. He's like Asian whatever Asian affairs. <laughs> Asian affairs. He's just like Asian. <laughs> I'm Asian. He yep. is, apparently, you can have like an Asian division of the police department. Yeah. I'm sure. Well, who patrols Little Tokyo? You can't put just, a white guy in there. No, apparently. Well, LAPD. <laughs> Gotta call him Jack turf. Chan. I mean, I f- like, it's funny. Oh, my God. They didn't get Lethal Weapon 4. There's an Asian <laughs> division in that movie. Because there probably is a large I'm Asian sure, no, community I, I'm sure there is, Los but that was, they were, like, specifically for dealing with these yeah. problems with immigration. And the it was the Yakuza again in Lethal Weapon 4. <laughs> Jesus Same fucking writer. Christ. Yep. Wow. <laughs> my God. The apple does not oh fall my God. far from the tree. I want to watch Lethal Weapon 4 now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a meet cute scene where they need yeah. kill each other and yeah. get to test each other's metal by the, the high kicking and all this other stuff. Of course. You do. Bar, Find out bar that, oh, I can't beat you just like I beat these nine other guys here. Why can't thing. I beat you? Psh, pull out the badge at the same time. Yeah. Well, what? it's romantic. It's almost itself. It's so cute. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, it's a love. <laughs> yeah, it is. So then, like. Uh, he even professes his love later. I like you. <laughs> Which is interesting because like all they do is exchange <laughs> insults about how, like, I hate you a little bit right now, but... Uh, God damn it, I like you. I don't want you to die. Yeah. It's nice. It's amazing. Really Despite myself, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
He's just well, too enthusiastic. Is that what your problem is with him? I, maybe. He's very enthusiastic. He's very smiling all I, the time. He's just like, I like you. We're in a shitty fucking... But I like you. I think I, I can get out with you. I can we should do you more know what? stuff. I, I can appreciate it, though, because I like a guy who's just like, you know what? I like you. Fuck all this. And he's like, you're uh, cool. Yeah. That's what he is. He's not afraid to show how he feels. No. It's nice. He's, Apparently not. Yeah. The uh, This leads them into this whole Yakuza underworld where... Uh, Several times, I think uh, Brandon Lee gets to prove his, you know, uh, gets to show his stuff. Yes. By going in first and like, oh, no, no, look at this. I can take these guys down with a bunch of chop sake. Yeah. Can you say that anymore? I don't think so. no. And I knew you were going <laughs> to. No. I don't think you can say chop sake anymore. It's not even culturally right. The Japanese, damn it, it's karate. You ever notice when Japanese people speak? <laughs> wow! Right. It sounds Wait. very aggressive. Oh, oh, man. Man. Shut up. Go. <laughs> the Save Japanese language, saying. like when, like when everybody, when anyone's talking to it, like they can probably be saying the most lovely things, but it sounds so aggressive. Very angry and, and aggressive. Aggressive. yes, <laughs> like German. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. another one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good yeah. One. no matter what, it's just always yeah, straight to the point. I'll yeah. Say. yeah. And the honor uh, among uh, in, in Japanese culture, you have to if you've offended someone, or have well, yeah. you have to cut your own uh, finger off. Is that how you do it? That's yeah, it's, the it's a little like oh I'm so sorry oh God Jesus <laughs> <laughs> oh me so sorry I, 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 so sorry. we apologize to any I, Asian American any, Asian the whole Asian whatever culture is, yeah yeah that's I'm sorry that's that's the risk you take when we watch these movies that we just I, or I become that's because we love we love it so much that we're just kind of we're is. all we we're are, immersed like, we just want to be in that world yeah. and so we do things we've like just that. spent an hour and a half identifying with the plight of the uh, Asian American in Little Tokyo. Yeah, in a movie where nobody talked like I just talked, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, we also learned the intricacies of uh, seppuku. That's right. Uh-huh. And can someone explain to me the difference between seppuku and Harry Carey? One Both of, of which are methods of suicide. Yeah, I think one of the, isn't Harry Carey falling on your sword? Japanese, the Japanese people have a lot of ways to kill themselves. Self-immolation and whatnot. Well, they got uh, they- kamikaze. kamikaze. Yeah. Yep. yeah. You got Harry Carey. You got seppuku. Are they, I mean, are they Are they separated by the origin of who performs it? Like, is the samurai strictly seppuku? Oh, good question. Uh, I think that's what it is. Okay. I know that because my ex-boyfriend's handle on what Xbox or whatever the fuck it was with seppuku. <laughs> <laughs> Because he also saw Ronin. Yeah. Ro- no? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Don't Probably. Knowledge from movies. Um, so, okay. So, so there's this. So, so basically, uh, what, Shere Khan. Shere Khan. I can't do it. <laughs> Shao Khan. Shere Khan. Shere Khan. Shere Khan. He is bringing in uh, drugs. Well, this is crystal this is, meth? This is this meth, meth, yeah. Brand yeah. new methamphetamine. Yes. Okay. Brand so new, new only, the only seen in yes. Japan. <clears throat> well, no, 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 no. Not tech, because they... they I like the the thing they got right was they brought in a group of bikers as part of the group that come in because bikers were responsible yes. for a, a lot of the meth. They went through biker crank. They, they brought <laughs> that's what they called it. And they so brought they were, in. Yeah, they brought in, and I I won't specify who they brought in, but they brought what in groups they insulted individ- by bringing the, yeah. individual gangs, stereotypical gangs. Yeah, some per, Bloods, some pertaining crypts, the... to specific ethnicities and yeah. whatnot. Oh, there was a, well, they yeah. had a well uh, rounded repu- uh, representation. Yeah, yeah everyone was there. <laughs> they, had a, they had a gang meeting. Do you remember in the Dark Knight when Didn't the Joker Russian rounded gang. up the yeah the gang leaders? That's what this was, but nineties only wearing the costume. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You got your bandanas. You got your shirt with the one button at the yeah, top. One button at the top. Very and... yeah. <laughs> Very I just 90s, love, the very flannel. I love yeah, <laughs> everything the Japanese were wearing in this movie. It's the very loud shirts and ties. And, yeah. and just, just giant suits. Giant, giant suits. suits. I love coats. giant suits. Coats, the shirt coat. That was a thing. Like, yeah. yeah. Corey yeah, like a, came wear this in The Lost Boys. Yes. The shirt coat. Mm-hmm. Yes. This guy yeah. wearing a shirt coat. It was one that was like borderline lab coat. It was long and white. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because it's cool, it's Holly. Cool. It's coming back. Well, it's because it hides guns. It's very true. They were hiding a lot of guns. They I all suppose the le- large black guns. leather trench coat is a lot more uh, guns. conspicuous. Well, and they, um, you know, they're a fashionable bunch. Mm-hmm. That's very true. Mm-hmm. Going with mm-hmm. the fashions. The they're upwardly, mo- upwardly the, mobile now that they're here Hirojoku in the Hirojoku fashion districts of Japan made their way to mm-hmm. the U.S. Yeah. Tell me more. 
Okay. No, that's about it. <laughs> no, tell me. All right, so that's their their wow. plan is to uh, <laughs> to distribute this, get all the drug dealers together, and do. In doing so, they take over the Red Dragon Beer Company, mm-hmm. that's right. which also somehow they take over the Bonsai Club. Uh, they, so they're operating several business front companies. Right. They're taking over, yeah. Yeah. And one of those and is a strip club. This is where we meet Tia Carrera, who's not a stripper. She's a singer. Singer. Mm-hmm. At the club. <clears throat> In one of the, another one of the movie's most deranged scenes, Shao Kahn approaches her with flowers in her dressing room. Mm-hmm. And you're like, okay, this is where he's kind of intimidating her. You know, he's going to, wants to date her or he's trying. I guess I didn't get that he's trying to keep her quiet for the murder of her friend, uh, Amber? He wasn't. Angel? Angel? At this point, he was not. At this point, he was At this not. point, he just wanted her. He just yeah. was a creepy guy that wanted like, to rape her. Well, I get that because it cuts to a scene, like, out of the fucking blue where, like, uh, several scenes are missing. Sean knows, so I hate this when it happens in movies. This is a perfect example. This movie was originally 90 minutes long. Yeah. Warner Brothers fucking hated it and yeah. cut it to 79 minutes. This is uh, the, this is where this the is a perfect example happened. of yeah, yeah. A perfect example of what happened. They took out like the forced date scene, mm-hmm. yeah, or something. Yeah. The scene where she goes yeah. out with him and like has that something. moment where she tries to escape or does something that offends him, and then he that's what I feel up. like is where she's trying to get away and he catches her and forces her back to the room, which, yeah. which is where we and resume. Which is, yeah. Yeah. Is where we get in, like maybe wearing- she's forced to have dinner at his home and or something, and they're having dinner and she tries to run. Mm-hmm. There's something missing something there. Is yeah. Missing. It's very apparent. But it's then, like, what yeah. the hell yes. is going on? Out of nowhere. And then, he proceeds, comes into play. And, and then he proceeds to show her the video, like, this is going to fucking happen to you if you talk or run. His this snuff is, film. This is what yeah. you do. You record oh. yourself. I always love the way that these guys are so ballsy that they record so their murders. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and commit them with all their cronies standing around. Yeah. <clears throat> when you're beheading people, as you do. Yeah. yeah. She gets beheaded. Just whoosh. Oh. Yeah, because she was talking shit. We skipped over the, like the first guy who they actually captured and tried to talk to, interrogate at the police oh, yeah. station. <laughs> My favorite yeah. dude. Who yeah. just snaps his own neck. Snaps his own neck. <laughs> well, when I, you, but I love no. It's, it's maybe that's Harry Carey. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. That, the the next snap. I, I mean, maybe it's, a, it's some version of it. I do like the. <laughs> Little moments like in that part in the beginning are, I think, fun between those two characters because they they see him preparing and it's, they're just like, oh, like, oh they're shit, like, oh, he's grabbing his head. Oh, like they yeah. know what's going on. Like things like I'm so glad this is this is a rated R movie because like they could have something like this. I guess could have been like a PG-13 type of yeah. thing, but I'm, I'm it's better that they get to like curse and do things like that. Well, that, what made it so funny is that Brandon Lee's like, what's he doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, like, what on earth could he be doing in there? <laughs> what's he doing? He's uh, But that's uh, I love it, too, because uh, the guy s- does snap his own neck, and then the police captain comes in. He's like, what happened in here? Dolph Lundgren, this big fucking guy, is like, <laughs> snapped his own neck. <laughs> and so the police captain looks at... Brandon Lee was like, yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Like, no, it's what the third time this month. This? Yeah, <laughs> these guys keep coming in here and snapping their own necks when you're around. God dang you it, champ. Argue. That's the fourth one. <laughs> you don't argue with Dolph Lundgren. I guess not. They're very trusting. He, he gets up in his face like, he snapped his own neck, boss. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> that's fine. Just write up the paperwork. <laughs> they know who the good guys are. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, because I mean, they're just <laughs> other things I have a problem with, like out of context. Certain things Dolph Lundgren is doing are so illegal in this movie. Like, oh, he, at a certain yeah. point, he's just breaking into people's houses and murdering them. Yeah. Okay, well, can I put it to you that this is why the movie had... The biggest problem of the movie is that it doesn't know what it wants to be. Because it wants to be... I think it's written as a revenge movie. Yes. But then they're trying we to strap to this, like... That, buddy cop thing onto it and it's like well that's why brandon lee's character doesn't really register he is not a character the or he's not integral to the revenge plot which is uh carrie tagawa killed dolph lundgren's uh parents yeah. dolph lundgren wants to kill carrie tagawa and he is going off the fucking uh plan yeah right he's going off the reservation that's what i was gonna say <laughs> he's you can still say that that's not racist that. now it's, i mean i don't know I, <laughs> i'm not i'm not one who's uh, they say it in the cia rules, all the time. Is allowed to tell you whether you can say it <laughs> yeah. or not but it's a I feel place like you're fine. right yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> so he is basically... What are the Native American connotations of going off the reservation? I don't know. I'm part Native American, rogue? so... <laughs> this is other than... Gone rogue. Since when has this podcast become so PC? Yeah, ever since Sean came on board. No, okay. So, yeah, uh, I'm just trying to keep us <laughs> on the level so Holly doesn't get any more hate mail. Yeah, I did. I got a that's, hate message. That's very true. No, she we was apologize. very nice. She was no, very she's nice. very nice. She was you're, very nice. You're very nice. We had a nice chat. We're good. Yes. There you go. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, keep us on the up and up. Since Travis left, as you... Uh, yeah, oh, that's... The answer okay. your uh, gotta clean it up. God damn it. Now I forgot what I was talking <laughs> about. Where were we? I don't know. Uh, Some about off the reservation. Off the reservation. Off the re- oh, right. The because he's <laughs> he basically uh, this is because this is the thing. Like Native he, Americans. He's, uh, a, mm. he's a police officer who's just like it doesn't matter now that I found the guy finally who killed my parents. I'm going to kill him. Mm-hmm. Like that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get revenge. I'm going to kill this guy. And <clears throat> so everything beyond this point becomes illegal. Brandon Lee is like supposed to be the voice of like, we're going to do this by the book, right? We're going to be decent cops. There is a scene where they come out of killing like a bunch of guys in a warehouse where the cops show up and they're like, you know what we should do? And I know this sounds weird that we're saying this being cops. We should get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Turn around and run. And you're like, oh, and they left the bathhouse. Yeah, Yeah. the bathhouse, right. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, what are we watching? What's happening? (laughs) What are we watching? There's a bathhouse fight scene. Mm hmm. It sure is. But there is some sweet ass Brandon Lee kicks in that scene. There is. Or, yeah. He can do the high kick. Who's yeah. better at a high kick, Brandon Jean-Claude Lee Van or Jean Claude? Jean Claude Van Damme. Van Damme. Okay, fine. Yeah. Settle. <laughs> that's 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 around Unanimous. To yeah. Prove that at this point. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. Is- <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking downer, Sean. Oh, I'm so sorry. Rick. I didn't shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can go there. <laughs> he got shot. Uh, um. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> this is the episode where Sean apologizes. Uh, that's May okay. he rest. I'm so sure moving on. They, <laughs> rest they, in they peace. Love you anyway out there. Um... At some point, we skipped over the fact that, uh, house, that know, Dolph Lundgren built his own Chop fucking talking. house. Uh, he yeah. <laughs> this is okay. he built his own. I built it. He built his own house. <laughs> yeah, so, because <laughs> they've got they've got oh, Tia Carrere, right? Yeah. And they they rescue her from the bad guy. Sure. In the scene where they go into the bad guy's house. In a house wonderful kill, scene. Right. Wonderful. Wait, I, <laughs> when Dolph Lundgren goes into his house to get Tia Carrera. Oh yeah, it's fucking amazing. Oh, they have right. to rescue because she was her getting ready to kill herself. Because Brandon Lee's sitting there with the binoculars. <laughs> uh, she's laying out, but it looks, looks like, like she's stra- packing. Looks like she's straightening up. Big knife out. <laughs> looks like she's straightening up. Dolph Lundgren's Someone like, a big knife out. <laughs> she's gonna commit seppuku, and then he goes, I love "Man of how action, much of an idiot he is." <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they they bust uh, in. Dolph Lundgren yeah, busts in. He busts in. He's shooting up the place. <laughs> as expected, as you do. My favorite part is when he picks up Tia Kerr and literally backs through a glass door. <laughs> because that's the kind of yeah, man of action. Well, what are you oh, going to do? No, You're not going to fight no, them with you... Tia Kerr. No, no, no. Because no, that's no. like the first thing you no. do is throw her at the No, it's that. the fact that he just backs through the glass door. <laughs> you, you guys you guys skipped over the part where he punched through a door and grabbed a dude he, by his dick. That's right. That's right. I, I was going to say belt, but maybe it was. I don't know. No, it was his at. dick. Oh, shit. Yeah. He punched through a door and grabbed his dick. He sensed that that guy was on the other side of the fucking door. That's right. It's an amazing scene when you see it. That's right. How do you know he was there? That whole rescue scene. There's nine guys in there. He never misses, Sean, when he shoots his gun. It doesn't matter what, like, if he's in a barrel roll. No, No, Sean, he never misses. He never misses. (laughs) And you'll never, he never misses, and you'll never hear him come. (laughs) That's where I thought you were going. This time I heard you come. Oh, dear Lord. Like, you can, uh... Oh, she could have just been like, I heard it this time or, or something. Not, there's used, nothing subtle about she, no, this movie. She went for it. Oh, mm. God. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, he gets her back mm. to his his uh, downtown, his, his city his loft. loft, yes. Where he has to explain to her what a gun is. Explain? Portia Port- Carrera Man's has... <laughs> Well, she apparently is and an she alien. she stares doe wide off into the distance like, what? This, what is uh, the world? You, you Please take explain this, this to me, sir. You point this... You pull the trigger, whatever in front of it goes boom. I'm sorry, you in dice down. play right now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do a better Dolph Lundgren. I did earlier. Okay. I'm not going to do it again. You did. Say. 
<laughs> so, all right. So he mansplains he what mansplains. a gun is, not how to use a gun, mind you. What a gun is. What a gun is, what it's for, and how it works. Yes. It's amazing. Yes. You've never seen anything like it. Oh, my God. Then they retreat to his uh, cozy country pagoda. Is pagoda the right? What do you call it? Japanese, uh, authentic so. Japanese home say retreat a, <laughs> retreat a retreat japanese his japanese home yep. a retreat for meditation and reflection <clears throat> yeah, his, right. his thinking house yep. his, uh, and yeah. she's like oh what a great place you've got here to which I he says it. i built it of course he did <laughs> like we can't i can't do justice to the scene her what she says him saying i built it it comes off as the greatest delivery of a line ever. Like, I can't explain why it's so funny, but it's the fucking funniest thing I've ever heard. I built it. Because of course he did. Uh-huh. He's Dolph Lundgren. Is that the most emotion that he shows in the movie when the bad guys burned down his uh, his house? No, he was pretty upset when he found out that, that dude killed his parents, like when he realized yeah. it. He had yeah. the whole gun shaking thing and everything. The most, oh, the most right. animated his face is in this entire movie is at at the very end in the parade when um, Shao Kahn is coming at him with the sword and he's like crab walking on the ground. He's got like a look of shock in his face. Mm-hmm. Most animated he was in the whole movie. Mm-hmm. That was the aforementioned and promised showdown in Little Tokyo. That was it. Yeah. yeah. Actually, there was the several showdowns in Little Tokyo. Right. Because <laughs> they, ta- they, they do manage to capture the bad guys, capture them all at the, uh, the burning pagoda and take them back for right. the strange Japanese torture where the Japanese are masters of pain and use uh, battery, car batteries or whatever the hell yeah. to and, juice a- you. And acupuncture. With the acupuncture yeah. needles. Yeah. yeah. Endo from Lethal Weapon is present in the movie, but not in this scene. Yes. Al Leong, the great uh, Asian-American stuntman. Yeah. Star of hundreds of 80s action films. Hopefully he's still out there today. Wait, did the shocking come after the car scene where they're in the car? It was before. It was before. They get loose. They They get get into the junkyard. They get smushed, and then they get put on the conveyor belt with the heavy metal, the the grinders. Oh, the the suspense. I was sitting there, I just biting my nails. They're just going to (laughs) die. Trapped in a car with a crushed roof. Why didn't the bad guys just Just smush them? Just crush them. Just crush them. You had them right there. Just do it. The inability of the bad guys to just kill the dudes you're trying to kill. And like, no, they must suffer. Yeah. Kill them more. They wanted to make sure they were scared and had a slow death. <clears throat> yeah. That doesn't happen when you're getting smushed into whatever. Oh, no, it does. Uh, in a car uh, crusher, that would do it for me. But, you know. I, no. I am there with you. <laughs> <laughs> I would also be happy if they just smushed to death. Right. Yeah. But no, they have to prolong it. Mm-hmm. So it gives your uh, good guys the chance to get away. That's right. And then it's the instead, only time I'm rooting for the good guys. Like, no, they should be dead. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> And instead, but they said that, you know, now that we are technically, quote unquote, dead because we got out of this, let's enjoy it for a little while. We're going to enjoy being dead for a while. It's another lethal weapon thing, although that's lethal weapon. And during the movie, I was like, while they have your girlfriend doing whatever. You made a good point. (laughs) It's like, they have the girlfriend. They could either kill her or, like Holly said, they're just going to all torture and rape her for as long as they can. Yeah. No. It's like, uh, we, got, we got a montage to get to, don't we? Yes. Like, right? Basically what they're telling each other. Necessary. There's a training montage that's got to go on. He's got to focus himself. I think yeah. only Dolph Lundgren participates yeah, in this only training. Only Dolph Lundgren was the, uh, was the montage. And he suits up for his showdown in Little Tokyo <laughs> in the best costume. Because on the box this art for this, the famous uh, poster, Dolph Lundgren's got the Rambo, um, you know, Bullet, the, the uh, bandoleros or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that's not actually the nope. suit that he chooses nope. to wear. He gets all dressed up in authentic, authentic, I don't know. He, no, I'm going to uh, say it's not. In, in pajamas. Yes, it's not. He's, he he's looks like a, a Street Fighter character. <laughs> oh, my. <It's> <laughs> with the bandana, with the rising yep, sun exactly. on it and everything. Yeah. Was it Ryu? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, it's, 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 not, amazing. It's, not a, it's not a gi. I don't even know what it is. It's like a gi it's, without the sh- arms, because of course, without the sleeves. Well, they just couldn't contain those guns. So yeah. he's got he tried it on. And then he he kind of looked and like the bad guy in Karate Kid. Yeah. Yeah, basically, <laughs> yeah. yes. <laughs> A little bit. Sweep his leg. Yeah. 
<laughs> Finish him! <laughs> he does do a couple sweepings of the legs. I think there was yeah, one that was pretty yeah. painful in the bathhouse where he took a guy oh, down. Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy didn't. That was. <laughs> there was I'm saying, there was a couple moves in this. I'm like, that wasn't fake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, Brandon Lee needs some yeah. moves in the face in this movie. How was the action in this movie, the choreography and execution? I mean, he did kick a chair over to a dude. Yeah, and that he was, fell into it, and was, then he got odd. kicked out of it. I like Did you it. say prop fighting? Prop, prop fighting. fighting. I love yeah. prop fighting. Yeah, was, there were there were drink trays that were used to be punched and thrown. Mm-hmm. It looked really slow motion, though. <laughs> yeah, it tends to sometimes in movies like this. It's because, if it's either they're not too they're much. not under cranking it the way they should be. Like maybe Lester's inexperienced, even though he's got action movies uh, on his resume before this, or they're just not covering it from the right angles, uh, not cutting it the right. Angles. I think they cut enough to. Make Everything right. looks like, like Brandon Lee especially, looks like he's waiting for yes. whatever mm-hmm. move is yep. about to happen. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. They yeah, get him down at a table. Your natural inclination is you jump back up. He waits because he knows that he's got to wait for his cue. Yeah. The guy coming. There was a lot Like of the that. whole leapfrog yeah. scene where he leaps over Dolph Lundgren to, to do a kick. It was like, yeah. it was like okay, yeah, this is, yeah. you can tell it's choreographed. Yeah, you're and, waiting for some shit. Did we mention that Dolph Lundgren jumps over a speeding car? Oh, no. shit. Well, <laughs> uh, there's nothing this man can do. I mean, he's an American treasure, does, even though he's he from cuts, imported. You cut from one side, you cut to the other. He doesn't jump over shit. What are you talking about? He went straight yeah, up he in the air. Straight, straight up in the air. Mm, no. yeah, straight in the air. I could have swore they looked yeah. over their head. No. <laughs> they <laughs> did. It was like the Free Willy scene, you know, where it's Free Willy's jumping over. And Dolph Lundgren was that beautiful fucking whale. Uh, yeah, it happens. It just there should have been a nice slow motion where they just like right? brush his ass with their fingertips <laughs> and his sweat's uh, just dripping out. Sweat is just dripping down. I think this is the missed opportunity. Oh, they should have shot God. it in slow motion. I need a close up of Brandon Lee's face watching it happen. Oh uh, yeah, he's that's sorry. what I need. <laughs> oh, that poor poor man, Brandon Lee. How he had a career after this is like yeah. You know I who mean, he reminds me of? Hmm. You know the Drew Carey show? Yeah. You know his friend, not Ryan Stiles, but the other one with yes. the dark hair. Yeah, that's who he reminds me of. <laughs> oh Jesus! What is, is his this, name? I don't know. This is not a good thing. I take it. Oh having not well, watched no, the not if you want show? a serious career. Yeah, uh, I don't think he's been in some fun stuff. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> maybe he got along well with the director. Maybe he takes direction well. Maybe you know something. Again, word of like mouth. Said, like, his sheer enthusiasm <laughs> makes me think that, that they're yeah. just like, yeah. yeah, I'll do it. Whatever. Let's. Yeah. 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 I'm Movies. really serious. He's, I want to do this. I want to learn how to do it better. Yeah. He's yeah. just not used to. Ti- he wasn't used to any of it. He's not used to the timing. He's not used to any of it. Sure. Yeah. You know? All that preparation and laser mission didn't prepare him this, for I'm, we the big We have to leagues. watch this now because you keep mentioning <laughs> the laser I haven't seen it. I'm just saying it's such a ridiculous title with yeah. a ridiculous cast on a yeah ridiculous Putting video format. List. VHS. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's right. You should let us know. We're now we're going to wait no, for- No, no. For, for here. Oh, for here. So you will know. I'm not going to let you know. You will know. Yeah. <laughs> that and the green slime. Coming soon. Green slime. Um, Solid. <laughs> so how does this all wrap up? How do we wrap up Showdown in Little Tokyo? What have happens in the, in the streets of Little Tokyo? They they hijack the, the beer delivery truck that's got the drugs Keep in, going. The, in the beer bottles. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going, man. <laughs> drive through the factory wall. Solid. How are you just going to decide to drive through a fucking building? Building wall. Solid and think like, cement yeah, we'll be fine. wall. Yeah. They didn't Do buckle up when they got no, in the car. Just keep going. Do we Solid. really look like truck drivers? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fucking Brandon Lee. <laughs> oh, fucking God. idiot goofball. So, <laughs> no, no. so then you've got a showdown in the warehouse is what yep. happens. Where everything explodes. Which I love. Ba- the barrel explosions. Yep. I love oh, it. The, I love I those love barrels it. that are just made to like blow up straight I love it. This is also where the bad guy ties the girl to an, uh, to the gas tank. Yeah. Which we don't get enough of in modern like a day. Fill up yeah. station, yeah. Just tied to the shit. Ma, with, the gotta tie with the, the, with the, the, with the gag. And the, and the yeah. like three inch thick rope. That yep. they use. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, Dolph Lundgren's on the case. I, I, he's he, there. I call, he's there. Wait, who is the Mountie? Um, uh, Dudley uh, Do Right. Dudley 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 oh, yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what is it, it is. A poly was always a Polly. Always tied to the tracks. Oh, it's a Polly. Snidely Whip Flash. Whip Flash. Whip Flash. Not Whip Flash. Whip Flash. Whip Flash. Snidely Whip Flash. Yeah. Yeah, I will yeah. save you. <laughs> there is a movie about that, right? Uh, is it yes. live action? Brendan Fraser. Oh, oh my god! Yes. Wow. <laughs> Did oh not talk like god! That, Jesus Christ! Wow. What did that man do in his life? <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> 
how downhill Jeez. did he go? I know. Oh my he god. He embarrassed me. He, he was George ever... the Jungle for Christ's sake. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah, uh, like they, they <laughs> evidence of why why we don't hear from Brendan Fraser anymore. Uh, All right, so we sorry, end up stop uh, in himself, We end up Kyle. during the parade where everybody witnesses a man. Before we get to the parade, I have to I have to mention the scene where Brandon Lee is fighting with someone and reciting his Miranda rights while he's being. Oh, that was uh, the the guy from Ninja Turtles, uh, <laughs> Tatsu. 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 Yeah. Yeah. In his that, very Tatsu. bad suit. No, the, <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Oh no, it's fantastic. Oh, because you got to figure out how many Miranda rights. Are That's what I was thinking. Times. I'm like, how, how long do Miranda rights yeah. go? Hold on. Yes. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say <laughs> can be used against you. <laughs> you have the right to die. That was pretty weak. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. Mm. After mm. all the moral grandstanding that he did. No, we can't kill him. We got to tell you. I don't want oh, to yeah, right? do it. And oh. he's like, oh yeah, let's light all these matches. Not only that, he did, he did the uh, the snap light of the of the Zippo. Yeah. Not just bad guy light it. He's, just, he's, yeah. he's, he's like trying. Yeah. Right. Scene. He's not cool if you're trying, Brandon Lee. Yeah. Oh no, he's he's t- <laughs> totally turned to murdering this guy yeah. at this point because it's like, oh, we've already so murdered murder. like 25 people coming in here. I feel like they probably watch that scene and they're like, well, we should probably at least blow him up. Yeah. yeah. At least put an explosion in there. Yeah. <laughs> but they end up blowing up the whole. This is like, oh, your friends are in this building and you're blowing everything. Up. Tubes are exploding and Dolph bats can take are care of himself. This is true. He's fireproof. Mm-hmm. Basically. And it's all that swirls. Sweat. You can't, uh, you can't, yeah. Sweat doesn't burn, man. Mm-hmm. It's all that oil sheen off of him. Yeah. 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 He's fine. Fireproof. The Dolph Lundgren story. Um, we forgot the one liner he had when he first saw Tia Carrera in the club. What, what did he say? See that girl up there? No, I'm sorry. This is like sweet or something. Whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah whatever. So sweet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's bad. God. It's bad. <laughs> so, so cringeworthy. It's just, oh. There are a mm. lot of cringeworthy parts. I am, so I am, much. I have transformed into a giant cringe. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bad guy gets his when he I mean, is uh This isn't over. Yeah. With the Ginsu knife. Ginsu knife. It's a nice yeah. uh, Japanese invention. Um, there just happens to be a parade happening. Right, where everybody just kind of gathers around. Well, because he has been, uh, you know, extorting these small business people. This That's is also right. part of his evil empire. That's right. He's extorting them for production He's money. He's become the fucking uh, Scarface of Little Tokyo. Yep. yep. Literally. The Godfather. Yeah. Of, yeah. Can we and, watch uh, uh, copyright? The Godfather of Little Tokyo. The Scarface of Little Tokyo. Scarface of Little Tokyo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just remake that Star- shit. Scarface and set it in Little Tokyo. Call it Scarface. And call it Scarface yeah. of Little Tokyo. I'm there. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're, 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 we're there. We're doing it. We're Starring doing it. Jackie Chan. Are remaking Scarface? Take that back, So, uh, Shokan gets uh, yeah. sliced. Then he gets sporked. Dolph Lundgren gets shot in the heart and lives. It's like it, it went all the way through. It, it went through, flesh room. but it flesh didn't. It didn't. Yeah, there was no hole in the back, no. but it yet it went through. If later on, as they're walking away in the movie, he just falls over because the bullet went to his heart. Yeah. <laughs> 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 guys, I feel. Fu- uh, that would be down. great. Just that would have been the best. In the long crane shot where they're all yeah, walking away, you see him fall over. That's the Chinatown shot, right? That's what they're trying to. And see a career freaks out, and Brandon Lee's just like, "Oh, it went to his heart." Just obvious. And then he just picks her up and he's like, so, you and me. And they continue walking. Yeah. So you sing, huh? <laughs> it's like, no, because he would, Brandon Lee would stay and try and revive the fuck out of uh, Dolph Lundgren. Oh, he'd it's be, like, no, you can't die. He'd be inconsolable. <laughs> yeah. I can't let you die. But, uh, I can't quit you. Shao Kahn does go out in a spectacular fashion. Oh, I guess that's geez. what I'm building toward because there's yes, uh, there's yes. one of those. What do you call it? It's the uh, the knife throwing um, circular <laughs> giant that you attach yeah. a person to. Oh, that's wonderful. Essentially, yeah. Dolph yeah. Lundgren has already stabbed the guy, so the next logical thing is to pick him up. I don't. Even, does he pick him up? How does no, he, he get just shoves him? He just pushes him Very with his big him. Dolph Lundgren punch. I just is like ah! knocks is, him is into the board. Kick? I think he pushes him. Oh, or, okay. He, he, okay. Yeah. It's like a pickup throw thing. Dude gets impaled, stuck to the board, which then starts the little rockets on the side start going off yep, and spinning it around. Spinning. I mean, that's like a how fucking you fiesta. Kill a fucking it's great. Bad guy. That's how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can't just be like, all right, he got knife down the street and we all walk away. You no. Gotta, dude, you gotta it's blow that fucker up. Celebration. Yeah. 
Yeah, because the whole thing does explode. Like, I didn't yeah. know these things were rigged with explosives. Yeah. But I mean, apparently they are. All fireworks are. are a form of explosive. I <laughs> wish he would have. it would have stopped so and there would have been just like a skeleton there at the end with a fucking sword through it. That would have been better. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, a spinning firework that uh, disintegrates a man is oh, pretty Oh, jeez. Yeah, that was Fantastic. pretty epic. Fantastic. Ooh. Every one way they keep on thinking, like, you know, like whenever they do something in these movies, I'm always hoping that they'll go like the next step up the level of outrageousness. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, well, you punch that guy, but you should punch him so hard that, you know, like his uh, rib cage comes out or whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I always like people punching him in the dust. Dust. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's Exactly. Cool. Dust puncher. 2017. <laughs> Especially if you got Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. yeah. But he that was so hard. He Dolph just so people. our Scarface is Little Tokyo is going to be so fucking the, over the top. The bad guy is yeah. going to be able to punch people into dust. Mm. Yes, I'm in. I am in. I'm down for this. This is a money maker. Yeah. 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 But this was satisfying that the guy actually did. Uh, yeah, you got to have a big get... finale for your bad guy. Yeah. Uh, it's just... So they got it. They did. Yeah. 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 The blonde cop is the hero of Little Tokyo. Yes. The American. Is well, I mean American, <laughs> but that's what he was like. That's the American saved everybody. Like that's the message of the eighties. Yep, basically because he's a man. Damn it, he's a man. He goes through. And you know, he's a man because of his giant schlong. According to Brandon Lee, right. everything reinforces that. Like, big muscles, yeah. big schlong, big guns. Mm -hmm. That's a tagline for an action movie. <laughs> <laughs> You just can't make these type of movies anymore. This you would can. devolve into you, parody. <laughs> yeah, it. and that's and that's where it all goes wrong. It's the sincerity that that sells these movies. And yeah, ridiculousness. Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. Uh, so that probably we've talked about Showdown a little Tokyo at length. Uh, we're gonna at, 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 how <laughs> at length at length or <laughs> 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 So what we're gonna do <laughs> is we're going to review a showdown, oh, Little Tokyo. God, Each penis. one of us around <laughs> the table will tell you whether or not you should watch it. But first, how oh, first? A word from our sponsor. Tonight, we're drinking... No, we're going <laughs> to hear from our tonight. mailman. Our mailman's named Igor. He lives in a dungeon. We let him out every once in a while, bring him in here to bring us the mail. And we should probably do that right now. Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. He backflipped in here. Hey. It's not bad. Hey, Igor, I haven't seen you in a while, buddy. He's very festive. He always yeah. prepares for the movie. Yeah, yeah, we like stopped he... him from attempting seppuku now. <laughs> oh. Oh. He's, all, that, I'm, he's, he's got a very he's shiny dead. kimono on. <laughs> he's he's packing dead. for something. What's going on with it? Yeah, I think so. He's already back. Yeah, he Put that big knife away, Igor. <laughs> Who left that out? <laughs> so how do folks, if they want to uh, write in and tell us about tonight's episode or any previous episode that we've ever done, how do they get a hold of us? They can get a hold of us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. They can follow us on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. They can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow us on Instagram. Saturday Night Freak Show. Tonight. Scott Witt writes in Hello, Scott. about Showdown in Little Tokyo. He says, Showdown in Little Tokyo is one of the oddest lines. After seeing Dolph and a lady in action, Brandon says, you've got one of the biggest dicks I've ever seen on a man. <laughs> yep. There you go. Yep. It was supposed to be white man. It was. And they, and they Warner Brothers that didn't like out. that. <laughs> really? <laughs> cut yeah. it out? Warner, yeah. It was Warner Brothers didn't the like that. Biggest dicks I've ever seen on a white man. That was the line. Oh. That was the line. Interesting. Out the mm -hmm. white part. Somewhere there exists a longer version of Showdown. Uh, uh, Showdown uh, Little Tokyo. Uh, <laughs> I see what you did there. If you've seen Was this. It's called the Big Dick Cut. Like a <laughs> it should be. Right? <laughs> Showdown Little Tokyo. <laughs> the circumcision of yeah, Showdown Little Tokyo. Can you imagine seeing that option on Blu ray? I would buy that in a second. <laughs> right? Like they, the Big Dick. <laughs> Are you listening, Warner Brothers? You've got a gold mine if on If you here. put out the big dick cut, I will buy this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I will buy it for my friends. Please put this out. Christmas is coming. It's All not right. too late. You won't hear it coming, though, Colin. Uh, <laughs> no! oh! Fire! Oh! Yeah! Oh! 
at least not the first time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Woo! All right, so about our episode, The Devil's Reign. Uh, oh, that was a fun movie. Good morning, yeah, Nancy no big podcast. Dicks in that movie, <laughs> Uh, just the people. The uh, Good Morning Nancy podcast writes in and says, oh. hashtag unlikely Satanist should be an official hashtag. Ha, ha, ha. Agreed. That's because we tagged one of the. Agreed. Yeah. Um, about our episode on Slither, Steve Hyden writes in. Hi, Steve. And he says, a week after listening to your show, I'm still giggling over Slither's karaoke of the crying game. Right. And tell Igor That's I so said good. hi. Whoa. He Igor says hi, mail. Igor. I guess I gotta go you back are? and listen to that. It's episode. okay. I printed it out and put it on the fridge for him. Okay, good. Yeah, Thank you. He's, he's happy. About our episode Fright Night Part 2, Michael Verratti writes in and says, I love Fright Night Part 2. More vampires need to roller skate. <laughs> I agree with that. I mean, probably, yeah. yeah. I agree with that. Roller that was skate. one of the best parts of that They need movie. to get down. With nuns with knives? They need to get down. No. They need to get down and jump around. Were there vampires in that skating nuns movie? Uh, I don't no, think so. No, not okay. the skating nuns movie. Damn, we no, but he's saying that should happen. I agree. Right? Yeah. yeah. Maybe like they're vampires fighting vampires. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, something. Mm-hmm. And Harrison Smith it's a also writes in movie. One team of vampires, one team of nuns. Yeah. Oh wow! There we so we go. Got yes. this. No, this is yes. what I'm proposing. Okay. Yes. We need in a our note. Saturday Night Free Show. We, we need to this. We need Vamps a note versus nuns. Write this shit down. Yeah, no, because we won't remember this no, 15 minutes from now. Nope. Uh, Harrison Smith says Fright Night Part 2 is an underappreciated sequel. It still needs a good Blu ray transfer. Well, we, Fright Night getting some love. That's right. It was. Yeah. I don't think we like them. Uh, do we all not recommend Fright Night um, Part 2? I, I did not I did. recommend uh, it. Uh, yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> I brought it. I was just like, nope. Yeah. yeah I don't yeah. think we recommend it. I think we all, you know, so we were like, no, just watch the first. Just watch the first one. You're good. Yeah. And the remake. Like, we we all said watch the first one, and you, you can even watch the remake. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I love how Sean brings all the movies that he doesn't like. <laughs> Again, likes. I'm just trying to figure shit out, man. I'm trying to get it all we, right. We've in my all head. done that though. It's therapy. We've it's all trying done to be that. Like, how, yeah. how I feel about this movie? I gotta I gotta put yeah. the final stamp on this movie about how I feel about it. He's mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, Scream Four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I watch Scream Four, <laughs> and this was a piece of shit. <laughs> I will never I watch it again. That was. I was Oh shit, that was. I can be excited to watch a movie and then be like that was shit yeah, yeah. but that's yeah. part of the discovery process that's why it hopefully is. you're yeah. going all, on for this ride we've all it. had therapy movies night yep. of the demons therapy <clears throat> movie uh-huh. indeed yeah hey, I, sh- I sat through sharknado here so uh hey, yeah poor poor bastard that's right <laughs> and i've watched all four of the next one <laughs> <laughs> it's not poor bastard you're, uh, that's glutton for punishment <laughs> right, right there yeah, you're, you're a masochist, masochist. Yeah. oh Oh, it's not. <laughs> uh, so that brings us to our wrap ups where we're all going to review the movie. We're going to go around the table. You'll hear, hear from each one of us. So please stick around and we'll tell you what we're watching next week. Colin. Yes, Sean. What did you think about Showdown in Little Tokyo? Well, we've been watching a bunch of uh, schlocky movies here for the past couple weeks. Movies that are intended to be serious. This is more of a schlongy movie. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> schlocky, I would say. Oh! <laughs> that was cheap. Low-hanging fruit, as it were. Uh, but I will take it. Uh, low-hanging. Uh, all right, you're all right. You're done. Am I done? <laughs> you're literally good, tickling good, the low-hanging yeah, yeah, fruit yeah, right good, now. Good thing this, this is radio this? and not yeah. uh, YouTube. I'm appreciating the low-hanging fruit. <laughs> I am... Okay. That right. movement will get you demonetized. <laughs> I am Brandon Lee right now. <laughs> well, yeah. So, um, where was I going with this? Yeah. So this is what we've been watching. So sorry. Yeah. Films that are bad that you can have a good time watching them later, laughing hysterically at their over the top uh, qualities. Um, sometimes they're called over the top. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> oh God, over that was fun. Top. That was so much fun. But strangely, I didn't feel it. With Showdown and Little Tokyo, it never really felt like it pushed over the edge into that kind of, uh, you know, like I'd want to wish this experience on somebody like, you got to check this out because it's hilarious. This one's like, and I don't know, I can't tell why it didn't do it for me because I guess all the elements are there. We were sitting there laughing at it. It has, you know, goofy writing. and But I think um, there's something about this particular genre and the you know the buddy cop film like i saw a sylvester stallone movie that was made like recently called a bullet in the head Mm. a couple years ago yeah which is maybe not as unintentionally funny as this but feels like the same movie or you know it's like they're still making this movie to varying degrees there's the one that comes out direct to netflix 
And then, you know, stars, uh, as we were saying, some like, you know, wrestler who was famous, you know, several years ago. And then there's, you know, still Stallone making his that I don't even know if those come out <laughs> in theater. So they're still cranking this type of film out. Um, and I don't know that I would say that this is like, you know, over the top enough to be like, you know, you gotta, you gotta see this just from the catastrophic train wreck that it is. It's no, it's, it's no undead Treat Williams, I will say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's missing I mean, some well, ingredient, and I know that this is the moment where we're supposed to come up with, like, and I have identified what it is, but I haven't identified what it is that this is missing that would tip it for me. Um, I think part of the problem that I kept having with the movie is what I alluded to earlier. It's like, this is a revenge film that thinks it's a buddy cop movie and then gives its buddy cop, like, nothing to do. Just strands him out in the middle of nowhere. And that's poor Brandon Lee. Through a combination of the script, the concept has already left him high and dry. The writing's terrible, you know. And his acting is atrocious. So his direction, basically, you know, he doesn't, he's not being directed. He's just mm-hmm. like, no, no, no. We, I take care of the camera stuff. You take care of the char- character stuff and the action. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's Mark Lester talking. So, um, <laughs> you channel Mark Lester. Yeah, channeling him now. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I wouldn't recommend Showdown a Little Tokyo. I didn't think that it was uh, crazy enough. But I mean, you know, again, I think everything to everybody has their different taste if 80s era action movies are your thing then i think you you know you'll get more out of it but uh uh i would give it a pass not a hard pass just i would give it a pass you can skip skip showdown a little tokyo sean what do you think i understand exactly how you feel about this it's not quite there and I felt that watching the movie. In certain things where I, I should have been <laughs> laughing hysterically at the decision they made, I was just like what what are they what are they doing? Like I was more it, it's it's hard to say. And maybe it is because Dolph Lundgren is not in a buddy cop movie. In right. This movie. He's right. in the revenge movie they're, in this They're movie. in two different movies. Yeah. Right. Yes, exactly. Whereas we're talking like Dead Heat, they're both in that movie. Oh, yeah. Jessica yeah. yes. and Tree Williams are both in that movie. Yes. In this one, they're both they're in two different movies. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't feel like I kinda want Dolph Lundgren. I mean, I I guess Dolph Lundgren's better than that. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, but uh, he's definitely in the revenge movie, and yeah. that seems to be a little more serious. And then fucking Brandon Lee's in something else, and like well, I you want- were kind of incredulous that Brandon Lee w- or Dolph Lundgren was the most more subtle of the two. Performance. Yeah, I'm like, I want I, like, somebody. What? Somebody needs to be on the. They're not somebody like somebody needs to get on the other level. Either Brandon Lee needs to get up there with. uh Dolph Lundgren or Dolph Lundgren needs to be as as shit eating grin as Brandon Lee is being in this movie. And I think that's the disconnect that stops this movie from being one of those movies where you're just like, you have to see the just the batch of craziness of this movie. Mm-hmm. And I and that's weird because this is like there are moments in this movie where you're just like, oh, oh my God, it is one of those 80s action movies. It's again, it's 90s, but it's it's 80s. Yeah. Where you're just like, this is so sh- insane. You have to see it. But it's not quite there like something doesn't get to the same level in it um yeah i think i have to pass on it too and it's not an easy one to pass on because there's some ridiculous shit in this movie (laughs) Mm -hmm. oh my god is there some ridiculous shit in this movie but yeah it's a pass and it's a weird pass but it's a pass yeah there it is all right uh like i said it's been a while since i've been down here for for a wrap-up but uh, the last time i was here for a wrap-up was for dead heat <laughs> which was another <laughs> buddy cop movie so i'm like yeah. are they just bringing me here yeah, for, for buddy cop on, movies yeah. here or what, what's going on here <laughs> who picked dead heat i was a listener was choice Wait, but uh, did, um, did I, I picked that one all right I'll just, yeah it was your it was your right, movie that was yeah. my movie yeah, yeah. i was just checking it was great yeah but uh uh <laughs> This movie, it really missed with me. Yeah, it had a couple of funny parts, but it just everything just seemed really forced in the movie. Uh, I don't know if it seemed like uh, WB was our Warner Brothers was pushing to have another buddy cop franchise, maybe uh, after Lethal Weapon, right? Uh, whether they were wanting to push for that, but it just it's it was cut wrong uh there's the <laughs> it was cut very wrong cut very wrong <laughs> but uh yeah it, unlike it, 
Dolph Lundgren. Mm. You know, <laughs> There's the joke. <laughs> so right. <laughs> oh, right. Kit Subri. But uh, yeah, uh, it, it just it really messed with me uh, that the acting was bad. I, you know, Dolph Lundgren, I thought was was horrible <laughs> as well as uh, Brandon Lee was. Uh, well, that goes without saying. Yeah. Aren't we saying? <laughs> Dolph like, Lundgren's never good. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> I don't know. It, it just uh, this movie. This movie totally messed with me. The only redeeming factors that had Tia Carrera in it and uh, had a, boobs. <laughs> if that's and what you're sushi girl, yeah, sushi girl, a lot of boobs. Uh, question: Would any of you eat sushi off a naked woman? What kind of sushi? I would have to say I'd have to give it a try. <laughs> All right. Uh, by the, by the I, way, I, I don't know. By the way, Sushi Girl is a pretty good movie. I've if, seen it. Oh. With Mark Hamill, Mark Hamill. Oh, yep. I've heard of this movie. What? It's pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. it had Tony movie? Tony Todd, right? Yeah, yeah. That was a pretty good movie. Good yeah, answer my question. Kind of, so, uh, would sorry. you eat sushi off a naked woman? Seems un, 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 unsanitary. Seems unsanitary. Okay, I'm glad I'm, I'm not the only one. I go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to say I did it. <laughs> I just have to say it I did it. Depends on the sushi and where it was at on her body. <laughs> mm-hmm. Haven't lived until you've snorted cocaine off a dead hooker's ass. That's all <laughs> you, have I'm dead. you have to be dead. I'm all for it until we get to the dead part. I'm not, I'm not above any of this except for the dead part, Colin. <laughs> but why did you have it dead? <laughs> all right, you're but, going for the most extreme, the ultimate. All right, Come but <laughs> that's still the, I'm so glad that that's still the ultimate. Coke off a of hooker's Cocaine's ass. a hell of a drug, Sean. Hell of a drug. <laughs> hell of a drug. <laughs> but I'm going to keep my, my string of passes going down here in the basement of the freak <laughs> show. <Nick> the <laughs> <pass>. <laughs> so it is a pass for me. Yeah, dude. I, I totally... I'm on board with what you guys are saying. Like it, It's right there where it's so ridiculous, but it doesn't quite hit the mark. It, it, it There's something just... <laughs> There's something it's missing in the ridiculousness. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that this the script or lack thereof was it switched hands about four times with writers. And I know there was a, a much more serious version of this movie. And I'm wondering if that would have been funnier because it's serious. Like, because that's. Yeah. Oh, did we mention it's written yeah. by Calliope Brattle Street? Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> that name. <laughs> yeah. One of, the, one of the writers. Yeah. This, there were several. Yeah, Alan Smithy. Sure. <laughs> several drafts of this. And one of them was more serious. I'm wondering if the more serious one would have been, would have hit that mark for us as in mm. just more ridiculous. Um but I think the final draft just had a weird hodgepodge of the two. And that's why it's just odd. And it's it doesn't make sense tonally. Um, and like we said earlier, there was at least like 15 minutes cut from this movie, which just... Uh, I mean, it's... it's it <laughs> I'm not saying that it should have been longer, but it left out a lot. <laughs> it should have been longer. <laughs> it was long enough. Oh. <laughs> um... <laughs> so i yeah i i i totally am on board with what you guys are saying um i i grew up with this so for me it's a lot of nostalgia and i knew i'd have fun watching it with you guys so we, it just seemed to fit into the the schlock that we've been watching lately um and i do love dolph lundgren he's like the he's my weird like I just love him. You can just say he's my weird. He's, he's my, my weird. He's my weird. He's my weird. I love him. He's just, I think he's an, an, a very unique individual. Um, we all know that he's got, he's a very educated man. He's got an extensive background in lots of different uh, cultures. Like he knows a lot of languages. He's just a cool dude and I have a fascination with him. So that's part of the reason I love this movie because I love him even though he's a terrible actor. So bad. Um, if Nicolas you guys, Cage bad. He's bad. He's bad. <laughs> At least Nicolas Cage makes facial expressions. Uh, um, and wins Oscars. <laughs> yeah. Like 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> it, it happened. It happened. Um, if you guys haven't seen the video on YouTube of Dolph Lundgren performing, and by performing, I mean he sings an Elvis song. <laughs> what, yeah. Wait, what do you mean yeah, by what, He sings an Elvis song. He then karate's across the stage and like hits and like chops wood. Like, like. Ridiculous, and then he like moves down some steps and like like 
chops ice, and then he comes back and does a drum solo. And it's the best <laughs> video. Wow. It's, oh my it's God. some European show. I don't know what it is, but you need to look at it. The one-man Dolph Lundgren show. It's, it's He's in that so... new Imagine Dragons uh, video, isn't he? I new, think so. Which... I think he is. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Brilliant. But you hopefully we'll we'll find this and put it on, on our Facebook and whatever, but you need to watch this YouTube video. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. And it's amazing. I just have this fascination with Dolph Lundgren and I think it's great. But I don't really think anyone should watch this movie. <laughs> so <laughs> Some things are for ourselves. <laughs> Some things are just for us, and you share with those you love. And that's what I did tonight. But if I'm talking to just someone on the street, <laughs> you're like, oh no, don't watch. No, yeah, yeah, I do not a, recommend. This is a bad. Let me tell you about it, and that's it. <laughs> I just like my friends to suffer on yeah, stuff. But. <laughs> have yeah. you also owned it on DVD? Um, She's got the Blu-ray. I have here. the Blu-ray. No, I didn't. I did not own it no. on any other form before. No. Oh no, I had it on VHS. VHS. Back in the day. I had it on VHS. <laughs> <laughs> There's no special features on this. I had it on VHS back in the day. Recorded off my- HBO. Probably. <laughs> probably, it was probably, or, or like the Saturday Night Movie off NBC, where it's just like, oh, there's nothing in this. Anymore. No, it was probably off HBO. Mm. And it imagine was, a TV cut of this. No, that and it was, sh- <laughs> and it was probably on like a triple feature with like Double Dragon, probably. And yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I don't recommend this. It's just so ridiculous. Um, but it, it's fun if you if you like that kind of stupid '80s '90s action movie. It's a good time. Yeah. On the back of this Blu-ray, it says "A hoot for action fans." Slick, funny, beautifully shot. Beautifully <laughs> shot. Yeah. Is this beautifully shot. No. Like, who is this? this? This is the this is the Chronicle. This is the San Francisco Chronicle. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, wow. It's showing off the local color. I guess. They're so. Like, well, oh, look at the neon right, lights buddy. that we have. Oh God. So that's Showdown in Little Tokyo, and next week oh. we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Michaela. Oh. Michaela, what are we going to be watching? She Next said we're going to be watching. We're going to be watching a movie called uh, I Know Who Killed I Me. I Know Who Killed Me, <laughs> starring Lindsay Lohan. I have not seen this movie. It's <laughs> an accurate Neither representation I. of Michaela. I, I forgot this movie happened. I know, so did I. So I'm I kind remember of, it. I'm excited. <laughs> I remember now yeah. seeing the trailer. I remember it all. <laughs> all right. This is where you slowly push it on my face and the movie slowly wave out into a flashback. Of, I know who killed me. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, I can't wait for this to relive some trauma for Sean and see him melt down on the bar next week when we watch I Know Who Killed Me on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, ladies and germs, uh, take it easy. And sure, yeah. uh, the take it hard. That's right. Take it any way. <laughs> <you can. laughs> take it any way you can get it. <laughs> well said. All right. In the basement, then is going dark. <laughs> <laughs>